and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Teamy TV. <laughs> Today we've got a guest star, Andrea VSFL. Hi guys. All the way from London, England. Fuck off. <laughs> And today we're going to be talking about vaginas. My favourite subject. People are going to think we're gay. So <laughs> Hell yeah, I like the finer things. Silk sheets and diamond rings. Big yachts and private planes. Fast cars in my own lane. This girl means business. Why is people trying to make me upset? I don't fucking like it. There's nothing I'm missing. Every time I take a draw, that's a mind out. Gone it all time, play with his lights out. So guys. Today, me and Andrew, oh, our legs are sweaty together. Ooh. Um, today, me and Andrew VSFL, that's me, are going to be talking about girly things, girly situations. This is why I'm dressed as a girl, and this is why I'm dressed as a period. <laughs> <laughs> that really be how it be though. It really does. It's, this is this is us every. This is ovulation. This is period. <laughs> It's not. It actually is because you feel just like flower happy time, flower bomb time. That's how you cheer around. You cheer around. You go situation. <sighs> so guys, today's um, video is actually inspired by just being a woman. Um, so, <laughs> so that was quite hilarious. Why? <laughs> just inspired by being a woman. Yeah, just being a babe. As a woman, your body just kind of develop. Like your body does a lot of things. It's a vessel of life giving so it does a lot and naturally like you kind of feel the changes with your body as you grow up and the other day i was like asking andrew i was like bitch am i still going through puberty like what's going on because your body just feels different like as you grow so i started doing some research now and apparently you know i'm not going through puberty however I'm still going through some hormonal changes that we weren't taught about in school. It should technically be called puberty still. It is still puberty. Because it is. It's like I haven't had a baby yet. They prepare, I'm still preparing for childbirth, basically. Well, so today basically we're just going to be talking about why we believe education about the female body is important for both girls and boys. A hundred percent. Right. One kind of thing as a woman that really threw me off when I first started doing it was ovulation. See, this is the thing. The f My first ovulation, I didn't even know I was ovulating. ovulating. I didn't know ovulation existed. Now, call me stupid, but I didn't actually know that ovulation exists, like, in real life until I got the flow app. That's oh, actually the realest. Is that's, it? Yeah. So you know how, like in science, you learn about the period, the period cycle, and the, the menstrual cycle, mm. and it talks about you know f the seven to five to seven days period, yeah. and then you have your ovulation period. Then it goes through the was it Corpus Christi? Can't remember what it was called. But you know when the egg dies <laughs> to be like. Yeah, I'm not sure whatever that's called again. Corpus Christi. I can't remember what it's called though. Is it Corpus, Corpus Christi? It's, it's a Catholic festival. <laughs> Anyway, so I remember learning that in triple science and thinking, okay, yeah, cool. So that's ovulation. But I didn't, in my head, I didn't relate it because we hadn't learned about it in sex education. I didn't relate it to actually me as a person. Yeah. I kind of thought ovulation happened like later on. In your life? Yeah, I thought like you only start ovulating once you're like 30 or something. Because I just, because they just. So where the eggs went to pop? Oh, so, okay. So a good old friend that had a baby at school. Where did her eggs come from? I don't know, like for me, like, I just didn't, I didn't no. acknowledge her as a person. Like, it's almost it like is. I didn't no. relate what we were learning in triple science to, to your actual what's body, actually yeah. happening in my body. And actually, they make it seem so far away because you learn about your period and I'm like, okay, cool, yeah, no. That part of the menstrual cycle, I can relate to because I know it's happening. I see it, it's like a physical effect. It's very expensive. That I can relate to. But an ov the ovulation period, it just kind of came. It did. And it's weird because like you, I think low key, you kind of, like your body kind of knows that you're ovulating because you feel like 
if you don't if you don't know you don't know like you, do you don't know, know what you, you don't, don't know. know it's true because like certain parts of your cycle you'll actually be feeling very very like horny like you'll be feeling like you're in heat and that's when you're actually ovulating but before i actually put push to the shove i just thought wow this is just me as a I'm person. Roasted. Wow, why am I so dirty minded? And also, not even just like the whole horny side to it. Like, I find myself more um, needy, yeah. more um, sensitive. I just want cuddles. Cuddles. Yeah. I want. I want the rom. I want romance mm. because the, basically, like, you're setting yourself up for the love making. Do you think that's why they look at women as sensitive? Why? Because of ovulation. Maybe. You know, like, when... Because, you know, the perception of women is that we're sensitive, is that we, like, care a lot and stuff like that. But that's just because of what the hormones are doing. Yeah, because we're about to carry a child... Like, our body is preparing ourselves to carry a child. And you need to... To be able to feed your kid, fight for your kid, protect your kids, you need to love it. So I think that's why... That's why men don't get a lot of things. That's why they can't... Their brains aren't there, because they don't ovulate. I feel wronged. I've been duped by the actors. Honestly, it's a whole bunch of scientific men trying is. to teach us about him. Like, fuck off, bruv. It's just nuts. And even ovulation. Oh, so even when like you're a tween and you're having your period and you're going through your cycle and whatever else, it doesn't feel the same as when you're an adult. Because yeah. when I was younger, like my periods no one could ever tell i was ever on my period because i wouldn't be in pain i would just be there i'd just be there but now but then the thing is i was in a lot of pain on my period like when, when i first started yeah as in the first the first time i it was a lot like i was throwing up yeah, i was doing true. a lot like i had a lot of body it was like a different kind of like i was it was a very it was a shock your but i feel like it was were, more of the shock though your hormones, <laughs> your hormones were sending us shock to the system it was saying i'm here yeah. do you know what i mean like i was really scared of that like that my i, I dreaded my period and even like um one of my cousins she used to faint and she used yeah, to my like my mum used to faint yeah like, my mum used to have serious like issues with her period and that's why she started going on the pill because oh, yeah because that's she, happened yeah. to one of my family members too they had to start going on the pill because their hormone like their hormone levels were really doing them in yeah and she was very she was young she yeah. was like at least 15 i think when she started going on it 14 15 and it wasn't because of you know they were banging banging but yeah it was just because she couldn't actually hack having a period, period. and i think oh obviously well she's got a child now so off it but i think like as slowly her body got used to it but when she was a, a tween she definitely couldn't hack it but they don't really explain that and i'm guess i i feel like there could have been other stuff she could have done that would have probably made it more bearable yeah like they're always just trying to pump hormones and drugs into us like all the time and it's like as women since the beginning of this time there's been women and there's been yeah. women dealing with our female bodies like so i don't understand how how many thousands of years later the only solution that you guys can think of it's is pills. pumping us with hormones it's flipping weird That's dumb. it's no it, it so doesn't weird. sit right with me it, it doesn't. doesn't and it's almost like when i now when i think back to when i was younger and i was going through like ovulation and things like that i just all of those feelings make sense now yeah and it's like if i had learnt that then then i could be more emotionally mature nah, yeah well like, at quicker, that time yeah. yeah it's quicker like my emotional maturity would have come quicker and i think if boys learnt it too they'd understand like they un they would understand a lot more and andrew was using this analogy the other day that men are literally just babies like they're just babies throughout their life and i believe that's true because really they never have to they'll never really understand what it is to be like to give life yeah. if that makes sense so it's like even if you do become a father you're very involved in your child's life you won't ever really have that kind of you won't ever experience what it is to birth a child because and I it's a like lot it's like, a lot one of my friends said to me that she doesn't want to give birth like she doesn't want to have 
her own kids. She said she she would rather adopt, foster. She doesn't want to have her own kids. And I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I want to have her own kids. And she was like, do you know what your body goes through? Like your hair, your skin, your um, your your genitalia. Like it goes through so much when you're Too pregnant genitalia. or giving birth. Huh? <laughs> so you said genitalia. I don't know that word. <laughs> you know, like it. It goes through so much and she was like, sometimes it makes her think that women aren't actually not supposed to give, that are not supposed to have kids. Like she was like, she was like, it's, it's almost as if it's we're not rich. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's literally a punishment. And I was like, rah, I mean, I'm still gonna have kids. Same. But it's beautiful. It's, yeah, it's yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. I love, I love getting my period in a weird way. Like I really love it because I'm like, oh yeah, my stuff, I can still have a baby. <laughs> and it's like it's just weird though but we go through so much and there's just so much like I think women just really need to be I think everyone needs to be a bit more educated on women and I think everyone needs to appreciate women a lot more and as we said like just even men learning about pregnancy and also teaching children like not children yeah, but young young yeah adults. young adults about Teens. pregnancy and stuff like that because it's important like they don't teach you about all these things that bloody happen to you even giving birth like yeah most people poo on themselves <laughs> i didn't know <laughs> that <laughs> until like a couple of years ago i said huh it's like, oh yeah, there was yeah, poo and everything in the thing. I said, oh. this is why you need to be able to fight in front of your partner. So exactly. That they won't be scared about it when you're if, giving birth. Honestly, because if you're sitting there thinking, oh yeah, yeah, we're just going to have a baby and that. And you think that when your wife's giving birth and pushing out this child, there's not going to be all kinds of stuff flying out of it. You've got the wrong idea, mister. Honestly, I tell you that. And I feel like as a man as well, how can you adequately support a woman if you don't know about a woman's body like yeah. men that are like you you squeamish about periods i'm like <laughs> it's a natural I'm thing i'm sorry i'm excuse I'm sorry. me it's like you're an inadequate man you couldn't do anything for me because what happens if i collapse in the bath now because i've bled too much on my period are you just gonna look at me and say like, ew oh, and run away <laughs> I need when, not. Exactly. When you're married to someone, you've perioded on the bed, is he going to start screaming? Nah, I don't have time for all of that. You'd piss me right off on the first day of my period. It's true, because so you know, we don't know. Like, you never know when it's going to come and hit you, and then you're there in bed, no panty on, because, you know, you just had a good old night. Because why? You're using, you know, your natural cycle clock, which means that you're not, you're not fertile. So you're doing that, yeah? Having your nice little night, yeah? And then the next morning you wake up, in a pool of blood. Why? Because you didn't wear pants. Why? Because you were using your natural body clock. And your husband's sitting there looking at you thinking, why are we in a pool of blood? Well, mister, that's the way life goes. Sounds very <laughs> passionate. <laughs> no, it's because it really is jars this an me. Anecdote? Is this? <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, back to other stuff that I think like everyone just needs to learn about is all also contraception now andrew vsfl i think has is able to speak about this a bit more in terms of like relationship wise oh, yeah, and yeah. why it's important that like your boyfriend or your partner knows about contraception yeah. because of what it puts the women through and i think just in general men should just be a bit more clued up i don't understand why men can't go on hormones to stop their sperm from producing viable sperm to, at to, some point. Yeah, like, to, like, to trap it. You guys can produce sperm for the rest of your lives. Women don't have that. We can't do that with our eggs. We've only got a few eggs, so I don't understand why they haven't put you guys on hormones. In it, and the only one that's that's trapping you lot is condoms, mm -hmm. which is just a bit useless for everybody. And the, exactly. oh, and the, the female, female condoms. condoms. <laughs> it's basically an inverted condom that's don't slightly bigger. Don't get me started, Gil. It looks like a turtleneck. <laughs> my partner he's quite you know open and he un he he's quite understanding for the Six most part. um he we, like when we first started be being active and whatever like i took it upon myself to get that oh god what's it called implant implant oh. in my arm and i must oh sorry <laughs> 
<laughs> the thought of it makes me no, itchy. Do you know what? Me it and Andrea, nasty. we went on the... Oh, we we had a friend here who, when we were 16 and she had an implant and that's the first ever Ugh. time I ever experienced someone having an implant and I felt in her arm, I said, Jesus. Oh, this is a lot. Never, never, never. That is, how can you put a piece of, no offence, Andrea. No, no offence to all the girls who do it. If that's what lot. works for you, then, but I don't know how you can put a piece of plastic rod in it inside your arm it was a lot why can't and they can, put it in men's and arms? you can feel it and that was just you can weird feel, it just feels yeah, like it was Jesus really nasty. but it's such an easy um it's a really easy contraception oh. uh yeah but, in, uh, oh uh when they actually do it yeah procedure there we go it's a very easy procedure and it actually doesn't hurt that much and i don't like needles so if i could go through it then anyone yeah, can she really and like I, but this is the thing so like I'm a like I'm a little nerd or whatever, so I liked to research it. But I took upon myself to say, okay, cool. I think the implant is the best one for me. But it ended up not being the best one for me. And like even now, me and my partner have an a, like an understanding of like, okay, he's gonna do his part to make sure that I don't have to do things to my body that I don't like. And it's not even just a me thing, it's like he doesn't want me to be unhealthy. He saw like me putting on weight, he saw me being sick, he saw me being moody, he saw me like changing as a person just in general and not being happy with what was going on in my body. And him as a person, he was like, well, I don't want you to go through that because it's not fair. Like, why should you have to go through that? Because I want to do certain things, do you know exactly. what I mean? So now we have an understanding like, and also, that's another thing I would say. It's so important. This is why I like the Flow app. Because it's so important now. Like, he even knows, like, the when I'm ovulating. Yeah, yeah, when I'm ovulating, when I'm my periods. But, like, even, he, even he'll be like, oh, so, how's your period going? Like, Stop it. how are you supposed to know these things? Do you know what I mean? Like, he now understands how my cycle works as well. And I think it's so important, like, it for is. your partners to... For this to be an open conversation. It is, because it's both of, like... Even though the woman is the one who has to actually carry the child, it's both of you that have got to that position. Yeah. And it's like, men are so... I feel like in society, men are never really held accountable or they shy away from a lot of responsibility. When in reality, you know... It's a group effort. It is a group effort. I couldn't get pregnant just by myself. In fact, you're the culprit. If anything... You're the main you're the reason! Yeah! the main reason this wouldn't have happened if I was with Stacey. I'm telling you. Goodbye. This wouldn't have happened with my, what was that, thrust and, thrust and pull? <laughs> What's thrust and the pull? Vibrator. Oh yeah, it, 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 wouldn't, have, it wouldn't have happened with the thrust <laughs> and pull. And then right here, it has like these little balls. Oh my purple thrust and pull. <laughs> nah, man. No. Not available in the UK, unfortunately. Nah. But yeah, just in general, I really think that there needs to be more education on female bodies because so much, like, misdiagnosis goes on. Yes. There's a lot of health issues in, like, the future sometimes if you're not educated about your body. Um, like, you can actually be taken advantage of as well. Like, just imagine all the girls who are actually on contraception for shit-ass men that don't treat them like anything. That's actually abuse. Exactly. That's chemical abuse. <laughs> Hormonal it is. abuse. It's chemical abuse. That's what it is. Yes. Don't even try that. Like That's the word. Me, Andrea knows me. I always used to say, contracept who? Nah, dead that. Contracept, <laughs> no. Contracept, no. Okay. No, but it's true. It's... it's and it's also like doctors don't even know what they're doing. No offense to them, like, but they don't. Like, they don't. Every woman is different. It's true. So you can't prescribe the same thing. thing. Like, like, even my like doctor. Us, should, yeah, like, we're so different. Literally, my doctor should have known. Well, the doctor I went to should have known that that was not the best thing for me. Like, th there should have been further tests done, and yeah. you would have found that uh, actually. Just even a simple hormone blood test, like, literally, I just got off the phone to my doctor just now because I requested a hormonal blood test because I just feel odd. Yeah. Like, why should, like, I just don't, like, I These feel like people, be normalized, yeah. but then that's the people thing, I didn't even know, know you to do, do that. that. Yeah, you can. Like, if, like, see with my hip thing, I was just like, oh, yeah, I put it in my medical form, I was like, I'm requesting a hormonal blood test, and... Yeah, I'm doing it on Monday. See Guys, that. you can do all these things, you know. Make sure you look after your body, especially as a woman. And sometimes I think it can be quite, like, 
especially when talking about certain things because i feel like the generation of women we are now is a lot different to what has been mm. there's a lot more like kind of sexual liberation there's a lot more kind of just freeing out a bit and it's like Freedom you can't money. exactly you can't really talk to your parents necessarily about that not because it's like a situation like that even if it's not a situation like that but they actually haven't experienced that because that wasn't their sexual experience yeah. so it's like it's so important to share like just even ask each other questions me and andrew are always like oh shit i think my vagina stinks like, yeah we like oh does it smell <laughs> look at the discharge of my pants what do you think so, kind does of it, yeah honestly but that's what it should be like because we all kind of go through it like i would hate to to not have a friend like exactly. like Timmy where I could just talk about this stuff with that I'd feel awkward like oh is this something wrong with me da, yeah. da, 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 da. but then even if it is something wrong with me then I would want friends to be like oh I'm not gonna lie you might want to go check that mm. you might want to do you know like let's go and book uh, a, test a test together, together you know what I mean? like, and I really really do want to encourage women to always get tested like don't even feel any type of way about it because I feel like men are a bit more like oh yeah I need to go get tested but women like they're a bit less like that but I think it's very important to just even talk to your friends about just your just just female stuff like yeah. fe yeah, it's super important to the male population that watches Teamy TV you guys should check in on your female friends and your girlfriends too it's because true. sometimes you may feel like you're in the most stable relationship that you guys could talk about anything but sometimes sexual health is not something that Everyone your your partner about. would want to open up to you about so take on the question and ask your female lady woman and be like hey you doing okay down there how's everything would you like a chocolate bar for your period and just you know i mean the real the real reason why we need the password to our partner's phones is so that we can look at their flow app app situation exactly. not to check their messages <laughs> and also i just want to say this other thing just because a woman a woman a woman mm. is on her period doesn't mean that she's a crazy person oh, like hormonal changes will change your mood so even if it's like on her period she's fine the fact that like now her hormones have now moved to ovulation might make her a bit moody or might change just throw people off like your hormones throw you off like so can we stop yeah. with that misconception where to all... bantu scribe exactly my, what she said my period does not affect my judgment Men are always chatting shit about shit. I don't even know anything. Oof. That is, that is men for you. Anyway. Not all men though. Not you, Baba. Hey. Anyway. So, guys. That was just our little chit-chat about female things. Um, to round off, our take-home messages are... Check your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> no, no matter no. where you are do you check your vagina um also if you are a pshe writer or you know tutor of some kind oh, yeah then think about what you're actually teaching i get that you know you have to follow a syllabus but you know my history teacher always used to throw in different stuff here and there maybe try and throw in stuff here and there where you can that could be useful to men and women alike so you heard, Andrea. Be wise. Use your eyes. I'm going to put that in there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're sick for that. Anyway, that was all from Teeny TV and Andrea Vesapel, aka The Drake Chronicles. If you want to see more collabs, guys, let us know because I love doing videos. So do so I. Right. It really makes me happy. Like, I feel like we just bounce off each other. It's almost like we're best friends or something. Uh, you know, know what I mean? Fuck you. <laughs> I wanna do it anyway. Um, so that is all from us. Stay tuned. I'm gonna put Andrea's um, YouTube channel in the link box below and in one of the cards as well. Oh, I'm pointing like I even know where See, it's gonna be. See, this is the issue I have all the time. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna say here for now. Watch it be there, but oh, it's fine. Dear. I'll, I'll just make an arrow. <laughs> anyway thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed please make sure you like and subscribe to both our channels and have a good day <laughs> we're gonna go sunbathe yes because it's so sunny outside guys yeah but do are you impressed i did the please make sure you yeah like i know that's why i started laughing <laughs> anyway love you all see ya see ya from little and large <laughs> that is us though <laughs>
Oh, dear.